The presentation at African Con Concrete Expo, totally Concrete Expo, what's that going to be about? Well, it's the clue is in the title, really, because we're talking about optimizing durability. Microsilica concrete is the material that we can use to do that. And it depends on what you want to do with that particular concrete, whether we're talking about obtaining a certain strength, obtaining a certain chloride resistance, or a corrosion resistance, or a wear resistance, particularly in this day and age. And the microsilica is one of the super poslanic additions that can be utilized to do that. What I'll be talking about is how to use that material, how to make that type of concrete, and showing some of the projects around, around the world that emphasize all those points. And you'll see some of the most durable concrete you have ever seen during that presentation. When I talk about optimizing durability, I'm not just talking about the hardened concrete. What we can do is change the rheology of the concrete. That makes it easier to produce, easier to place. Now, if we're placing it easier, we use less machinery. Our manpower works a lot more efficiently. We can change designs. If we use higher strengths, we can reduce column sizes. This means we save formwork. It means we save materials. It means we save time. And time, of course, is money with a lot of these situations. If we can make a more durable concrete that lasts a lot longer, it's better than replacing it after 20 years or repairing it after five years. And some of the projects you will see, we have done just that, that where concrete has failed very, very soon, and we have managed to repair it so that it will last lifetimes. And I'm talking about real lifetimes, hundreds of years. And that's the sort of quality that we're talking about. When we talk about optimizing the durability, this saves money, it saves resources, and that's exactly what we all want to do for this world. Elkem is one of the world's leading producers of materials, particularly the ferroalloy materials. So we're talking silicon metal, silicon, ferrosilicon, all of these sort of things that go with our modern technology, our modern world. We produce carbon materials and obviously the microsilica. We have about 3,600 employees across the globe. Now, silicon and carbon are essential elements for the future of our world. Solar panels, all of these sort of things that we need for our development and our infrastructure. We are very, very conscious of our responsibility to the environment for producing these materials. So we work very closely with our suppliers and our customers and our users so that we can develop solutions for our modern problems with our world. We're also the largest producer of microsilica. We've been running tests on that for the last 60 odd years, right from the 1950s. Now, since the late 1970s, we've been rewriting the book on concrete technology. So we offer all of that alongside the material itself. And that's knowledge gained over 60 years of research and working with our material. So we offer the whole package to the customer. Now we're sponsoring the event because obviously we feel that the region has now reached a stage with its infrastructure development that it's economically feasible to produce these high performance concretes. High performance concretes is needed for a developing infrastructure, longer bridges, robust dams for hydroelectric power, longer um, roadways, airports, particularly safe and secure power stations desalination plants where we need the essentials for our modern life. Africa's seen obviously a great development in its economic situation over the last decade or so and the region will see some huge projects, uh, infrastructure materials coming along and that's what's interesting Alchem. Uh, it's therefore natural that we should establish ourselves in the region with our product and emphasize how we can help in that growing demand for high performance concrete across the continent. Because with that rapid growth, you need to have solid projects that secure you from failure. You don't want something that you're building for 50 to 100 years to fail in five years. That wastes money, it wastes resources, it wastes aggregates, and of course, water. People tend to forget how much water we put into concrete. Water is a precious commodity for life. But microsilica isn't a cheap product it's not targeted at everyday concrete. It's where you need to have that performance. And Africa is an environment where if you want to do high infrastructure development, you need high performance concrete.
with a name like Totally Concrete, well, we simply had to be part of that, didn't we? 